welcome back to our first ever playoff underdog draft. Underdog's got a bunch of tournaments right now geared towards the NFL playoffs, not just fantasy playoffs, but you could play all the way through January, through February. Soon the Super Bowl is going to be played in March, April, maybe even May. We might have a summertime Super Bowl. Big as a what? Through Atlanta. Atlanta's going to be a movie when the Super Bowl is We're not going to draft a single Atlanta player. All right, dial in, because what we're doing today is we are joining the Mitten. Now, the Mitten makes me smitten. And the Mitten plays from January 13th, I think, which is the first playoff game, January 8th or something, all the way through the end of the playoffs. And you're drafting the entire player pool right now in Underdog. So you are drafting with some foresight. Some guessing. Some foreskin. Some luck. So what we're going to do is put the playoff odds on the screen of every team. And as we draft, we're hopefully going to be drafting a lot of players that are in the playoffs. Because obviously, if you draft a team full of guys that don't make the playoffs, your score is going to be very low. But if you draft a lot of players from teams that make the Super Bowl, big as the what, then you're going to be sitting pretty. So that's the aim of the game today. Let's throw you up on the big screen. You guys try to join these. These are going to be running all the way through the beginning of January. So you got time to get in there. Also, if it's your first time on Underdog, you could use code BDGE. So if you want to join the mitten right here, it's $5 entry, $25,000 to first place. So if you get onto underdog, you deposit 10 bucks. Not only are you going to have two mittens worth of monies in your account, but they're actually going to double it. So you'll have four drafts of the mitten ready to rip. So we're going to enter this right now. Take my money. Take my hush money. What are we going to do with the 25 grand? Um, Super Bowl tickets? Oh, deal. Oh, I guess we wouldn't. We'll be late. Yeah. <laughs> Next year's Super <laughs> nice. Bowl. All right. Well, you know what? If we win, we'll take a fan with us to next year's Super Bowl. We made this little chart on the right for you guys. Current playoff odds as of December 19th as we're filming this per Action Network. All the teams on the right from top to bottom. Anyone with 100% is obviously clinched a playoff spot already. Let's move us into the middle. Here, uh, the league, the team settings are, see the little I info button here. Uh, This is just not, (laughs) not great production. Team settings. So you're starting one QB, one running back, two wide receiver slash tight ends, one flex, which is a running back wide receiver tight end, and then five bench spots. There are only six people per league, so we're only drafting against five other people. But I bet, I bet right now they're not sitting there on Ecamm Live with a huge playoff chart right next to them like we are. So we're dialed in. They're probably maxed out already. Yeah, they're probably fucking 17 picks in. How high are we drafting Sam Laporta? Put it in the counter. Put us in the counter counter. Now we're fucking ready. Hank, j we got the one fo Since we only start one QB, one running back, do you think it is smart to fade any position in particular? I feel like if we could get Tyreek, we'd jump on that shit. We should probably pick a strategy and stick with it. Pick four teams right now that we think have the best chance, which okay. is probably what everyone's doing. Well, I think the Niners are for sure the best team in the NFL right now. And I think with that, since we need like a lot of upside, I kind of feel like our strategy should be, well, there goes C-Mac. I feel like Debo's going to go. Debo feels like I want him as a top pick. Okay, there he goes at the one two. So going down that, do we feel good about any? I don't feel like great about betting on any other team. I mean, it never f- hurts to like bet on Mahomes. That's, like when it comes down to a it, good point. It never hurts. But what do you think about be- Ayuk? Is that crazy with some of the other guys on the board? Uh, yeah, I feel like I'd still go with Tyreek. Because you also have to consider if you get the one seed, you're at a disadvantage. True. You miss a, you miss a week there of points. Yeah. So I'm thinking Tyreek Hill. Tyreek's there. Um, I'm kind of do down with that. Or do we kind of want CD Lamb? Because he's, don't be biased, he's almost guaranteed a second game. They're assuming they beat the home team, NFC South team. That's a good point. CD or Tyreek's on me. Who would Miami play? Do we know? They'll probably be matched up against a seven seed, which could be like a Buffalo or like a Colts. You know what? Let's just take Tyreek. I think he's fine. We took CD. That's fine. That's fine. I got I to gotta remember. I haven't been in best ball mode in a while, so I haven't been using the Q. I like CD. I like that way of thinking. Don't love it, but I like it. The Niners could drop one now, and they'll still be the one seed. Like That's just a whole wild. Like We got to make it to the divisional round. That's fair. But Tyreek could also be there. Yeah. But if Miami wins out, they're the one seed. That's a big if. Good point. They got Good point. Dallas, Baltimore, Buffalo. So we might miss him week one. Maybe not even get a second game. Small as all right, we're back up. So we can go with the QB here. Now we took CD Lamb, so I think we should wait on QB because there's a lot of good quarterbacks available. What do you think about a strategy of one? Maybe we should get our 49er mm. share in George Kittle. He kind of goes boom boom in the playoffs. Maybe, or do you want to value town with Diggs? That's my point. Uh dude, I kind of like a Monra. I think the Lions can get a playoff win. Yeah. Or Mahomes. It's Mahomes. Let's go dude. Mahomes. Like it's it's always Mahomes. Yeah. That's fair. 
Okay, I think Kittle would have been a good one just because we want to get a share of the Niners. I also think sneaky, sneaky. I know no one really goes with running backs here whatsoever. I don't know if you have a strong take, but I kind of feel like Pacheco can go nuts down the stretch. Yeah. I could see them completely leaning on him in the playoffs. For He's like sure. the only thing that's really helped, that, like worked for them in the, in the regular season. Yeah, and Rashi's price is kind of already banked, baked into being a hefty price. You got to pay. Um. Yeah, Rashi would be a good one. So should we almost like Where did go? Where Kelsey go? Two one. Uh, I don't. I don't like that they have the same color tight ends as. Yeah, receivers. it's weird. Should we almost go with the strategy? Like, let's say Dallas and Chiefs are a Super Bowl matchup. I'm down. I'm with the shits. And maybe throwing some value. Like, a team like you might want to play with is, like, the Rams. Like, a seven-seed Rams versus, like, they might be a six-seed, to be honest. Like, a six-seed Ram versus, like, a three-seed Detroit. You know, Detroit's favorite there, but that's, like, anyone's game. All of a sudden, high-powered offense, you're invested in them. Are there is, – is it the most ridiculous strategy to go with – is that is that crazy? I kind of feel like it's the highest-scoring position, and if we bet on those two being in the Super Bowl – like, we'll probably yeah. get the highest scoring points. But we do have Pacheco available. We have Tony P, Rashi Rice, Amon Ra is still there. Can you click on it all? Like, could we wait around to get one of them later? Like, click on. You can see the projection has, like, a... oh, that's that's points, though. So, I think we could wait on Pacheco and get Dak right now. Oh, no. Uh, I guess they are back-to-back. I think Amon Ra is going to fall. Should we? Let's just snag Pacheco. Yeah, I'm taking Pacheco. They can checky checky. None of those guys have QBs, so we'll see. Mm. Lamar's gonna go soon. Yeah. Luckily, Which is fine because then we have one guy who has a QB before yeah. us. Fuck, there goes Rice. That's, That's not fine. good. That's fine. That's not good. That's fine. I'm panicking. Like, do we really want to bank on what Chiefs are receiver? I'm a Rashi fan. You know there goes that. Polly. There's a lot of pressure. It's just a lot of like thinking, like. Going back and forth on strategy. I don't think we've seen a single Jaguar go off the board. All right. It was mosty. So we can get. You don't want Dak? We can get Dak here. Yeah, fuck it. Loki hurts passing up on Lamar. Dak, yeah, Dak over <laughs> Lamar is crazy. <laughs> but is like right now. This, is, this is the way. Dude, did we just win? No. Are we going to the Super Bowl next year? Someone else's. Where is it at next year? Do they already have that location? Yeah. Oh. Over a year in advance? They probably have 2025s already. Then 2025s be next year. They probably have 2026s already. I don't know if I love Brandon Cooks here. Me either. It's in uh I in, like it's in Nola. I like Gibbs. I think Detroit could get a playoff win as long as they like Me too. I feel like Detroit's probably too much too valued in, or too undervalued in these drafts. Yeah. Cuz we can start a flex play. We can only start one running back. We can start a flex play. So I don't mind going double running backs. The wide receivers came off. Porta too is like we are. We're hurting a little bit at wide receiver. Yeah, Yeah, there's not a lot. I mean, what we're gonna have to do is bank on like his seven seed Rams or Bills. Mm -hmm. Where's the damn Super? Is it in L.A.? No, no. This year? No, this year's Vegas. Yeah, next year is New Orleans. Ah, taking Cooks. Okay. Gibbs got taken already. So now we're cooking. Mm. We got both Dallas receivers. We got Presky. We're gonna need to grab something from KC. What do you no. mean, Cooks? We're I mean, the we don't need to. Games of the year. Like, we, we don't have to go all in on these two teams. It's I don't just know, like we do. We picked that. If we made it this far, we were, were in. Like, how many other people are? We basically won already. Yeah. Now it's like we got to get there. This is where we take some lions, some jaguars. What the hell didn't mind doing. I'm so sorry. Guys. I don't even feel like we need that chart. No, we don't. But it's just for the people. All right, we're back on the clock here. Putting a small in the corner. <laughs> you are fumbling. Now you. All right. Click the whole thing. Oh, you want a receiver? No, I don't give a fuck. Dude, ETN's low, but uh, he's been ass. What about McKinnon? No, I wouldn't take him. What about Kyron? Dude, yes. Are we going too RB heavy? Yeah, yeah. let's go Kyron. Kyron's yeah, a we goat. we got two running backs. Kyron's the absolute goatee goat. I do not love, like... The Rams have a 51% chance to make the playoffs right now. Yeah. I do think they squeak out, though. They make it? I do, yeah. I mean, it's huge. It, this week determines it. Like, sure. are you going to beat the Saints or not on Thursday night? Yeah. I also think just, like, I don't know. At this point, I want to bet on the quarterback, whoever has the best quarterback to lead I their team, and Stafford. I can't stand our wide receiver. Get Cup next round, even if we're reaching. Deal? You want to bank? Let's go, with, let's go in on the Rams. Put your hand down. 
Because Dallas and the Rams can't play unless they make it all the way. They'll both be wild card teams. Correct. Dude, we might have just. That's what I was telling you. People are going to take this stream and probably use the same fucking strategy. Okay, not not Stafford. Maybe Stafford. Enough. Mm-hmm. How are you going to take Kincaid? That's crazy sauce. Oh, my God. That's a reach and a half. And OBJ? You like Cup more than Puka? Probably. I mean, it's really just 50-50, but I'm just thinking like... You would like, take Cup over Puka in Dynasty? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm just thinking playoffs, like Cup's going to be him. Yeah. Dude, Let's go, Cup. This Fall feels to us. good. Dude. Ridley? I can't. It hurts me. Like, even though the Jags are a playoff team, I just can't. Let's go. Bank on them and putting up like crazy numbers. Copperstein, welcome to the team. Thing is, this is at the point where I like, I feel like we're done and we still got to like strategize the last two. We got three more picks. Three. I think we can grab. Actually, a lot of guys are waiting on QB. <laughs> Joe Flacco. I'm, cu- I'm curious to see. Like, is three QBs the right strategy? I feel like it's not. No, definitely not. We have very limited space. And it's not like we could start. Multiple, multiple. All right, I, I'm thinking one more running back, two more receivers. Minimum, yeah. Well, that's all. We only got three picks left, right? Well, I was gonna say minimum two wide receivers. Oh, okay. So like Puka and like Evans is available. I'm thinking Puka just like if we want to go with that stack. Might as well, yeah. But we are fully in on the Chiefs now. Like if they somehow, some way get bounced, it's. We're fully in on all the teams that we picked. We have multiple guys from Correct, but like Dallas and Rams. Like we at least have We have more of those guys than we do Chiefs. That's that's okay, but I'm saying like we're we have two teams in on the NFC to where they can't face off. If the Chiefs got bounced early, we got nothing on the other side to help us get further. So we need some little AFC just like a sprinkle of someone that could carry us. Like Matt Stafford. Like a sp- <laughs> Like a sp- <laughs> um, like jerk. Dude, the Browns could they upset the Jaguars in the first round? They just yeah, beat them easily. So like Amari Cooper. Damn, this Tampa Bay. I kind of want to make a stack of the Tampa yeah. Bay. They go so late. But do, and, and I don't their think players are go... such good fantasy players. No, not in this one. No, next week three. We're probably gonna do another one after this, right? Are you? That's crazy. Doing a fifteen minute video. Yeah. All right. Deal. Plus. God will like that. The kid's getting surgery tomorrow. Yeah, give him that's okay. Got her. All right, do another draft. <laughs> <laughs> Three more. Who? So who are we aiming for right now? Who's? I can't even see the queue. I have, we have Evans in there. That's it. Why are we going in on the NFC? We're not. I just put him in there. Calm down, Eddie's. You want me to go Justin Jefferson? No, oh, fuck no. Kadarius Tony done. All right, Co- Cooper's value. Like he's the best value right now, by far. Are See, there any other running backs? Now you want to go value. Now you want to go value. We had a fucking oh, strategy. Oh, you want McKinnon? I want a McKinnon. I want Rashad. Clyde? White. Clyde? No. Jonathan Taylor? Brother. Dude, the Colts are going to make the playoffs. Mm. JT could be sneaky fucking Could heat. be sneaky. Yeah, we're sneaky heat in this. Get it. Get it. Get it. No way. Bang. Damn. Bang. You thought I wasn't capable. I didn't think so. You doubted me. In my Still moment am. of need. All right. That was a good AFC sprinkle. Watched them play Chiefs round one. So happening. Fuck. Three seed Chiefs, six seed Colts. Nah. Yeah. That's like how it is right now. Colts I think. will be the five seed. Browns will be the five seed. Colts won't be in the playoffs after this week. Who do they play? <laughs> We're up. <laughs> Giggles. Get Amari Cooper. Or- oh, fuck it. Josh Downs. Oh, someone took Jarek? Brother, Coop. You mother. No one's in queue. Fuck us. Thank Lord. Yeah, they were. They weren't in queue. I had Coop in the it queue. It wasn't in queue. He was Prove just it. the best available. Prove it. He, it wasn't. You could see on the side there was nothing. You could see that I picked Cooper. All right. Good job. The Thank end you. result is what matters. Correct. Are we done? That was a great Tuesday. Run it back tomorrow instead of Thursday night free view. I won't be here tomorrow in the office. Let's do instead of the preview tomorrow, a Thursday night draft. They have those. <laughs> Put your fucking hand away. 
All right. Dude, you need some money in your account. How many mittens you been doing? This is my first one I've ever done. <laughs> Jeez. You need to stop gambling. Uh, how much money do you have? I just, I mean, not like a crazy one, but I just figured like you being the boss. <laughs> yeah, way too, way too many of those. Let's look at your wild card team. See how it was a week ago or a month ago at this point. Jesus Christ, Joshua Dobbs. I mean, it's Joshua Dobbs, dude. Remember that time? Remember when Dobbs was a starter? I see no problem with this team. I don't. I do. Justin Jefferson, T Hawk, Dobbs. Those are three guys that aren't even. And I think at the bottom, you got Justin Watson. Yeah. All right. End this. <laughs> Take us away. That was a five dollar donation. How? I mean, I like the Eagle stack. Oh, uh, do you? But thanks. <laughs> wasted three picks. All right, take us away. That is our underdog mitten draft for Tuesday night. You guys will be seeing this on Wednesday. Remember, if you join underdog with code BDGE, you could get up to a one hundred dollar deposit match. And if you're watching this video. And we win the grand prize. We will be taking you to the Super Bowl with us in 2025 in New Orleans. Nick is going to New Orleans in January. He already has a preview. He's going to scout out where we're going to stay during that week in February the next year. Big things are coming. Code BDG on Underdog. Thank you, as always. Give us a like. Give us a sub. Give us some love. Hang. Hang. That was it. That was, <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs>